reincarnated as a sword. It's another one only I've seen. And the reason I really wanted to talk about this one isn't actually because of reincarnated as a sword. The first episode of the show, if you've seen that time I got reincarnated as a slime, uh, it's mm -hmm. almost identical. It's a guy, he gets isekai and he wakes mm -hmm. up Big surprise. as a sword. <laughs> But... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this season is the season of uh, this season is the season of inanimate objects. objects. Oh my god! Because it is. You got chainsaws this... and swords. Microphones. So there's this <laughs> show, and then there was the other one I wanted to watch, where somebody gets reincarnated as a microphone. What? Which I never, never got. To uh, watch. Yeah. <laughs> There still has to, there still has to be there still has to be the anime adaptation of that story where the guy gets reincarnated as a vending machine. Oh, wait. is that Ooh. one real? That has that. to be real. And then there was a yeah, movie. it is, it is. Oh my god! And then yes. there was a movie where a guy was a chair. You know, when I ever do isekai stuff, the character doesn't die, they just escape to another world by going through some magic portal or some sewer to get to another place. That's it. No yeah. one dies. They just go elsewhere. But who will get hit by a car? No, they just like go to another <laughs> world in their dreams. Duh. <laughs> he, as a sword, he can still like use skills so he can like levitate and use telekinesis. And when he kills a monster, he absorbs its powers. It's like the same as Slime, where he just kills a bunch of monsters and keeps working his way up. And then mm -hmm. he plants himself in the ground, and he can't get up. <laughs> He's fallen, and he can't get up. I have fallen, and he can't get up. I can't get up! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, like, kind of parallel to this, there's, uh, like, a cute cat girl who's a slave that oh. they keep cutting to and she just says like i want to get stronger i want to get stronger i no longer want to be baby i want power <laughs> exactly yes her like slave caravan thing gets attacked by monsters and they kill everyone but her and conveniently the sword is right there and she pulls him out of the ground and kills the monsters and thus their journey together begins <laughs> a life of long friendship awaits a girl and a sword. What could possibly go wrong? Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. A furry mm -hmm. and a talking sword? <gasps> Sonic and the Black Knight! Sonic and the Black Knight! <laughs> I was thinking about that before. It's like, wow. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Oh my it's god. It's exactly right. Holy like shit, Sonic. this is just an anime adaption of Sonic and the Black Knight, but they replaced Sonic with a, with a cat girl. <laughs> Cool. I might watch it because I did see like a cover of it. It looked the art did look nice, but I was just like, oh, it's another isekai show. I'm sure it's nothing too special. So here's the thing. That's like the first episode, and after that, it becomes like very, very bog standard. That's like the usual isekai thing that like. They register the at the guild. The episode is always the strongest episode, and then everything after that is hella mid. <laughs> yeah, kind of true. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that sounds about but, right. <laughs> so, when I watched the show, I was looking at the comments, and everyone was comparing it to that vending machine manga. <laughs> and I just, like, that premise was like, how could I not at least check it out? So I went and read the vending machine manga. Mm-hmm. And it is so fucking good. <laughs> Great. Wow. I love it. So basically, the so basically you wish that got an anime adaptation okay. instead of this? But what, it's getting but what, one, oh, so we good. might get it. What kind of vending machine was it? Was it a drink vending machine? The snack vending machine? Was it a bit of... I think in the beginning it's a snack vending uh... machine. Uh, but he like gets the ability to change into different vending oh, machines so later it on. sounds like an scp <laughs> okay so what's amazing about it is like when he like in the sword isekai right he might as well just be a person because he can float 
he can talk to people. He can kill monsters. He's mm-hmm. basically just a person. He doesn't like it. Really doesn't it doesn't other. change anything for him? Yeah, exactly. In the vending machine isekai, he's totally screwed. All he can do are the only thing he can do that a vending machine can't is he can like generate a shield at a cost. But like mm-hmm. everything else is like he he can't talk. He can only use pre-recorded vending machine phrases. Oh, wow. oh my god. <laughs> he can't move around. He has, like, a reserve of energy that gets depleted unless he gets a constant stream of income from people buying snacks. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) And he has to work around those limitations. And that's what... That sounds like a metaphor for real life. That's what the sword isekai is really missing, is that, like, the fact that he's a vending machine really affects the plot in a great way. Yeah, I was gonna say, it sounds like if you're going to go the route of having someone be reincarnated as an inanimate object, the object itself has to be an interesting one that you can actually do stuff with. Because I don't think there's a whole lot you can do with a sword. I don't think. Uh, I mean, I think they could make it interesting. Can you shoot energy beams or something? (laughs) Yeah, something like that. And don't let him levitate. (laughs) That's the yeah. worst part. You know, it should Caliban. be like it should be <laughs> it should be like like you know in Kirby in the Forgotten Land where Kirby where hold on Kirby can like you know uh, have the ability to use like objects and one of them is like the vending machine. What if it could like move and stuff and like shoot cans out of its like like entry bit where you like get the you know the snack or the drink yeah. and it just waddles around and <laughs> just causes mayhem wherever it goes it's like oh my god that vending machine is haunted but it's giving us free <laughs> soda free food and soda for everyone i don't want i don't want to spoil anything but they utilize his vending machine powers for fighting related stuff and it is amazing. That's good. That's in- sounds interesting. Yeah. The vending machine manga, I give like a strong eight. It might go higher. Also, vending machine romance with an oh. anime girl, much better than sword romance. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, but Arlon, you can use a sword, but you can't use a, v- a vending machine. <laughs> I mean, if you use if you use a sword... That might have permanent damage, but you can use a a sword. (laughs) Very cursed, but thank you for letting, (laughs) putting that idea in our head, Coco. (laughs) Like, you can can have relations with this. So anyway, moving on. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, I give it a a 6 out of 10. Pretty good. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs>